59-year-old Dancing on Ice host Philip Schofield has once again called attention to how dangerous the show can be for celebrities. As Odie Mabuse prepares to switch ranks and move to the ITV show after being part of the professional dancers team on BBC's Strictly, the presenter has suggested that she will be in for a more difficult journey than ever before. I love Strictly but compared to the skills that are required for dancing on ice it's a walk in the park, he exclaimed breezily, when quizzed by ITV on any advice head offer to OT. With dancing on ice, you have the possibility of real danger, real injury. You have a rink that is full of essentially blades and we know how dangerous they can be and how deeply they can cut and how sharp they are. I've just watched a video of Bez on his second day fall over backwards so hard that his helmet flew off. He reiterated, it's one of those things but you don't see that on Strictly. Dancing on ice is really dangerous. Contestants, really all risk everything for it. The history speaks for itself, as in last year's contest alone, there were three major injuries. 47-year-old Denise Van Outen suffered a dislocated shoulder and three bone fractures barely two weeks into the competition, leaving Philip and co-host Holly Willoughby to look on helplessly. 31-year-old Towie star Billy Fires also suffered, experiencing a terrifying head injury. Finally, 53-year-old Aussie actor Jason Donovan made it to the sixth week of action before a back injury ended his career dreams. Philip has stated that only the very young can be fearless and benefit from the potential of falling without breaking bones. However, increasingly, undeterred older contestants are keen to compete, including Coronation Street's Sally Diviner, who is competing in this month's new series, alongside the likes of former S Club 7 singer Rachel Stevens and ex-pussycat doll Kimberly Wyatt. Dot Philip clarified, we've seen in the past that people do get hurt and of course you want to avoid that at all cost. He added, I think we will be wrapping Bez up in bubble wrap, that's for sure. Meanwhile, Odie will take over as a judge in the competition from Torchwood actor John Barrowman, who was recently shamed for alleged misconduct on the set of Doctor Who. On ITV's Lorraine, John said of the allegations, they have been exaggerated and they have tried to turn them into sexual harassment, which it absolutely is not. It was body behavior, silly behavior. It was being done in the confines of the set and we were like a family working together. He added that outsiders did not understand the context of the historic banter and that, due to the modern shift in attitudes, he would never do it now. However, it appears to have been too late for him to continue on Dancing with Ice. Philip has said John's presence on the show will be sorely missed but that, going forwards, Odie knows exactly what's required. The show returns on January 16, when it will air at 6.30pm on ITV.